Hello everybody, Lance here. Today we're gonna discuss how to manipulate the push-up and your grip and whatever else you need to manipulate to target different muscles during your push-up. So they're the primary muscle groups that you're doing in this or that you're training in this uh, push-up is chest here, you've got front of the shoulder here, and then you've got a little bit of front of the arm helping the front of the shoulder, but you've mostly got back of the arm, your triceps. So chest, shoulders, triceps. Um, two biggest ways, like if I, if I do a chest, uh, if I manipulate it to um, train the chest a little bit more, I'm also gonna manipulate it to load the shoulders a little bit more. Um, but if I manipulate it to train uh, triceps, that's kind of its own little thing. So we got two categories. We've got the shoulder version and we've got the elbow version. So the shoulder training version for your chest and for your shoulders is a little bit wider with a little bit more elbow flare. So it might look something like this. And you can take this, you know, way wide if you want to get freaky about it. You can even turn your hands out and get super wide. <laughs> Basically what you're doing there is you're taking, you're taking your hands, you're taking this lever, you're making it wide, and that puts more of that stress on here. So my elbow doesn't have to bend quite as much, my shoulder has to move a lot and the lever is really long. So this area, these muscles that control this joint then get stressed more. Conversely, uh, we talked about wide. Now, if I want more arms, I'm bringing my hands in and I'm bringing my elbows in. So I can keep it really, really close. I could bring hands in. You might see like the, the diamond idea that's kind of doing the, the arm there. Um, and that might look something like this. can come in even further. I can even come forward and still get something out of it. Slide down this carpet. Uh, that's the idea. So wide for shoulders and chest and narrow for triceps.